Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I have to say. I was um, taken off guard by UFC 281. Um, I was, um, for starters, obviously the main event, what an incredible main event, but I, I just don't understand how people think Michael Chandler is going to win that fight. And I know a lot of friends and family that are into this stuff and they're like, yeah, we, he's super strong and really explosive, but I thought there was no way. How about Molly Meatball? Molly McCann coming out, and um, I never, I never thought she had a chance from the jump. She got dominated, and, and uh, I'm trying to find that fight now. Um, Molly McCann got dominated, and a lot of people have backlash about Molly McCann after that one press conference where her and Patty the Batty were in the back room, and she was hammered. It was like her first win, and she was like uh, going nuts. Taking over the mic the whole time. I've never really been Molly McCann a uh, fan, but now we have Dan Hooker. Huge Dan Hooker win. Um, see what you guys say. Hey, I'm six foot with a vicious hook. And I bite down on this mouthpiece. Ooh, boy, I make nails look soft. Yeah, a lot of people were happy to see Dan Hooker get that win. Um, twelve. He was 22-12, and 12, but he was on a um, two-fight losing streak. And I always, it always felt to me that Dan Hooker was just struggling, um, kind of easy fight, but I like Dan Hooker, I, I take Dan Hooker over Michael Chandler, I'm not a big Michael Chandler fan, I know, like, he's really explosive, but he just has a glass chin, I know, who am I to say that, I don't step in the octagon, I'm not, I'm not saying I could do this, but what I am saying is, I was just, Frankie Edgar, what a legend, when you look back on what you've accomplished in the sport, so much you, respect you for Frankie proud. Edgar, you're a lightweight champion, you fought the best of the best throughout your career, and millions of people around the world love you. Yeah, um, a good dude. I love this boy, man. Sad. But he's been taking some serious. I mean, Edgar's always taken serious damage his whole his whole career. But it seems like lately he's just taken pounding, pounding losses. Um, Wonder Boy had to say, not gonna lie, I didn't see that ending with a sub. Talking about the Dustin Poirier fight. How about Dustin Poirier? Um. No shame, just to criticism. I mean, comes out and just says this guy's dirty. This guy, I didn't get to see the whole. It must have been. Oh, look, there's blood. Unreal fight. Unreal fight. Oh, he did blow his nose on. I didn't see that. He was talking about how Michael Chandler was blowing his nose on him, and Chandler came in the post cop post fight uh press conference and goes, um, I didn't create gravity. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't see that was a submission. I knew. I knew. Um, Poirier was gonna get rocked, and I knew. I just thought he was gonna outclass what he did. I mean, he's been in this fight game for so long, had so many big fights. I feel like um, Michael Chandler is just um, not seasoned. I know that's thirty eight years old, but just not seasoned. Um, well, I knew Poirier would get it, and then I didn't really watch the. Yeah, Zane's a beast. Zane really. Yeah, she got a impressive win. Yeah, she choked out. Yo, but I'm not gonna lie. I think Esperanza is old, right? I tapped the remake choke. She's been riding a six game fight. Oh, she's on. A, I didn't know she was on a win streak, so she deserved that fight. I'm guessing the next one will fight for the. <sighs> what about Rose, though, guys? What about Rose? And the main event. Man, that's terrible. I'm a huge Izzy fan. Uh, I had a weird feeling. I mean, I feel like the fight weeks leading up, you can, you just get weird feelings about these types of things. You can kind of have a sense for who's going to win. Um, and Pereira looked great. He, I mean, he looked great. And everybody's going to say, um, yeah, Izzy, thought, Izzy was crushing the whole fight, which I wouldn't say crushing, but Izzy was doing damage 100%. But he wasn't. I thought Pereira, Alex, was doing great. Um, early stoppage, I agree with that. Here's here's my thing on that. If you're a champ, let him go out on his shield. I, I, I would just... You gotta let him get knocked out. Um, you can't, I think. And like I said, I'm not in the octagon. I'm not... I'm not... At this level at all. But, um... I don't know. I think you got a guy like that. You gotta let him go out on his shield a little bit. And, uh, let him get knocked out. 
Um, I don't even know if he's gonna get work knocked out. I mean, Alex did get saved by the ball. Wow. Did you see the ringside footage too? Watching, it's just so sad when you have all your boys there and you lose and stuff like that. But part of the fight biz. Um, man, I want to create a podcast. I don't know how to get viewers. How does that work? Um, to create a podcast and stuff like that because this stuff's super interesting to me and um, something I really want to do for a long time. Um, but Izzy has to get that rematch. I mean, I that's what kills me. Like after the fights, like they'll be like. Dana, do you think Izzy deserves that rematch? And it's just like, I don't even know how you could say that. Izzy the champ. He always fights. He's always fighting. Um, Izzy deserves that rematch. Without that, he should be able to fight a rematch him twice. That's how I'm feeling about that. But uh, all in all, I thought 281 was a great card. Um, I'm excited to see what next. There's so many options to see what happens next now. Um, and I think that's all. I'm kind of interested in the bantamweight, who's going to happen with that, the Sean O'Malley situation. I mean, dude, I just can't stand, like, I know, Triple C, the champ, but I think it should be Aljo, Sean, winner of that, then Triple C. Dude, no one wants to watch Aljo, Aljo, Henry Cejudo fight. No one wants to watch that. I mean, maybe you're hard-headed UFC guys, but I just can't see myself watching that, so. Thank you guys for watching, and this was my look back at UFC 281.